Hello my friends, this is a Samsung Flip. It's a flip chart with a touch screen without paper and uh, I got one today and the problem was uh, the touch screen didn't work. Uh, well, the screen worked but the touch didn't so it's more or less useless like that. So the primary suspect was of course the touch interface or touch controller which is in the lower uh, left corner, seen from behind, of the touch monitor, this little board here with the golden edges. And um, I noticed that none of the three LEDs, which are marked red, yellow and green, uh, lit up and, well, that's an indication that something may be wrong. So I first checked the voltage, the supply voltage from the motherboard and it was 12 volt and it seemed to be okay. So the problem was on this uh, touch controller board. Uh, then I noticed when I applied power from a DC power supply that there is absolutely no current. And uh, if you look closely, no you can't see it on this picture, but right under the red clip there is a SMD fuse and that fuse uh, has blown. So there is a problem either with the fuse or with something else. After replacing the fuse I noticed that I still have a dead short on the board. So I took my thermal camera, the tiny one that connects to my phone, and uh, I supplied voltage with a current limit of uh, about 300 milliamps and I noticed that one of the tiny SMD capacitors got very hot very quickly. So you can see it here on the thermal image. It's the one that shows 41 degrees uh, while the rest of the board is at 25 or so. So it was time to replace that capacitor. And because I didn't know what capacitor it was, I took a 50 microfarad because it looked like it's just between uh, DC rail and ground. So a little bit more, a little bit less, it's not a big deal. And as you can see, after connecting everything together, the three LEDs actually do something. It's a little bit hard to see, but at least the green LED comes on and that's a good sign. And now it's time to show you what the Samsung Flip, the flip chart without paper, actually can do. So you can write on it with a special pen that has two different sides. One for writing and one that works as a highlighter. If you make a mistake, you simply wipe it out with your hand or your finger or whatever. You can choose uh, different colors, of course. You can also choose different pen uh, widths. And you can import pictures from your laptop, from your PC, from your mobile device. Into the board you can make a screenshot, like so. So it makes a copy of that, where you can place that wherever you want. You can write some comments to it. And you can also display the contents of your PC in full screen. It's a 4K screen here, HDMI input. And you can even control your PC with the touch screen. There is a USB connector that goes from the touch screen to your laptop. Uh, at the moment it doesn't work. I don't know why it worked in the morning, but that's the demonstration effect. And of course you can save your artwork, you can print it, you can export it to another device. And there are also about 20 
pages you can move from right to left so you, we are now on page one and you see the beginning of page two on the right side yeah it's a very versatile device and it's fun to use and i'm happy that it works again after this relatively simple repair thanks for watching Thank you.